Hi, it's Darren Mitchell with this week's Teaching Tips. I want to talk today about the infinite banking policy and how and why you should save a portion of your money in there. But first I want to step back and say, how do most people save? How do they save for the short term? How do they save for the long term? So this is what typically a typical person would do. They have an income. They take the income. They pay some expenses. And then they typically go into two buckets. We got bucket number one here. I'm going to call that the short term bucket. Your short term bucket tends to be a bank account. Now, why do they put it in that short term bucket? Well, they want liquidity. They want to be able to use it. They want to have control and they want it safe. And the bank account checks all those, right? Liquidity, use, control, and it's safe. But what do you give up by putting your money in the bank account? Well, there's no growth. Or next to no growth. So that's the trade-off. You have liquidity, use, control, safety, but you don't have growth. And then people say, well, for my other bucket, I'm going to put money into my long-term bucket. And the long-term bucket for most Canadians, the first place, is going to be an RRSP. And the idea here is we are going to have growth. Now I'm going to put a little star there and say potential growth. You can have potential growth. You can also have negative years. But you can have potential growth. But what did you give up by putting it in here? Well, you gave up liquidity. You gave up really use. Your money's effectively in jail. You're going to leave it there until retirement. You gave up control. You really have no control over the stock market if it drops 40% tomorrow. So you've given up safety. So you've given up liquidity use, control, and safety for potential growth. Now what about an infinite banking policy? Well, what if we put that over here and we said infinite banking policy? Okay, what do we have? We have liquidity. We have use, absolutely. You can access 90% of the cash value anytime you want. You can use it for opportunities. We have control. You're definitely in control of your money. Your cash value cannot go down. It can only go up. It's guaranteed to go up. It's got a 150 year track record of paying the dividend. Market drops, this doesn't drop. Stock market, real estate, Bitcoin, everything can drop. This doesn't drop. You're in control. Safety, absolutely. Not only can it not drop, but there's an added death benefit in there that if something happens to you, your family's gonna be safe or provided for a big lump sum tax-free death benefit. And we're gonna have growth. We're gonna have real competitive growth. So really what we're able to do is we're able to save for the short term, liquidity use and control, take advantage of all those opportunities. If in a year from now, the stock market drops 30% and real estate goes on sale, you know that you can access that money because it's liquid, you can use it, it's safe and you're in control but you're also saving for that long-term retirement where you're growing your money tax-free literally for the rest of your life so you can have a tax-free retirement. So don't look at the short-term and long-term bucket. Look at the infinite banking bucket for a portion of your wealth. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.